Yo, what's up, y'all? It's your boy Reefy here. Now, before we get into this video, can I ask that y'all do me some favors? First, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on post notifications as well. Also, follow me on Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram as well. On Twitch, I got some sub badges and sub emotes y'all could use if y'all subscribe. And yeah, it really truly does mean a lot that y'all subscribing and supporting the channel in any way, shape, or form. It really truly does mean a lot. And with that done, we're going to get on with the video. There you go. There you go. Officer. Wait, he's alive? Oh. Yo, what is good, y'all? It's your boy Reefy here, and I'm back with a new game. As you can see by the title, I'm playing The Walking Dead, the Telltale Definitive Series. Now, I'm going to be honest with y'all. Can I just be honest up front with y'all real quick? I've never watched a single episode of The Walking Dead. Now, when it comes to zombies and stuff, I've always liked zombie video games, and that's that's really I never really saw like any zombie movies except for World War Z with, with Brad Pitt, which is an amazing movie, by the way. I should get into the game, but anyways. Now, I've heard a lot about this game and just the Telltale games in general, right? Now, I wanted to get into the Borderlands Telltale games because I love Borderlands. I love all four Borderlands games, but two is my favorite, anyways. The only things I really know about The Walking Dead are that there's zombies. The dude who played Chris on Everybody Hates Chris was in the episode and he got eaten alive. The lady who played Okoye in Black Panther, uh, Danai Guerrero. My bad if I pronounce her name wrong. She's she was in this show. And uh, what's her name? The dude, the dude with the baseball bat with the with the um barbed wires on it. He's he was a DLC character for Tekken 7. But yeah, this is my first time playing this game. I literally bought this game just to play it for YouTube, you know. But yeah, like I said, I I know almost nothing about The Walking Dead, so yeah this should be fun i've always wanted to play a telltale game so let's get this started oh i thought i thought a cutscene was gonna play okay season select developer commentary character viewer um i guess i'll select my season i think this is like mul is multiple games if i remember correctly okay the walking dead how it all started as the world as lee everett looks for redemption and fights to protect the young clementine okay season two how many seasons are there Oh, there's five. So, yeah, we're obviously going to start with the first one. So, yeah, let's get this started. Once again, I thought there was going to be another cutscene playing. But, yeah, I really like how this game is done like a com in like a comic book art style, you know? All right, choose a display style. Standard. More help from the UI and feedback when you make important choices. Minimal. Turn off UI hints, help, and choice notification. Oh, so, oh, yeah, this is one of those games where um every decision you make affects the story. Like, with, like when I played Until Dawn like that um i played until don't like last year like around this time last year i believe but yeah i'm gonna go with standard because this is my first time playing you know all right how many episodes are there two three four five oh it's a special episode so there's six episodes in total so obviously i'm gonna start with episode one so yeah let's do this let's see what we got going on Well, I reckon you didn't do it then. Okay, so this is the part where we gotta um, make a decision. So, um, okay, we have a limited amount of time to make a choice. Uh, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna Why pick do you X. Say that? You know, I've driven a bunch of fellas down to this prison. Lord knows how many. Usually it's about now I get the, I didn't do it. Every time, not for me. And what do you say? Uh, silence is a valid option. Uh, no, nah, I think I'm gonna go with every, every time. time. Every time. Oh, what was it? What's going on? You, oh, we gotta look around. Yo, I don't know why, but this guy in the back seat. Hold on, in the target at the rearview rear mirror. I 
followed your case a little bit, you being a Macon boy and all. You're from Macon then, so you got an opinion. Um, I'm gonna go with so you got an opinion. You got an opinion then? Wouldn't say that. I go in for that innocent till proven guilty thing. Oh. Even considering who they say you kill. Yo, no lie. This guy that's in the backseat, yo, he remind he looks like Omari Hardwick. Like you can't tell me otherwise. This guy deadass look like Omari Hardwick. I got a nephew up at UGA. Oh. You teach there long? Going on a six year. You meet your wife in Athens? You yo, tell me how I see it. Yo, tell me this man don't look like Omari Hardwick. Um, you know what? Since this says silence is the best option, I'm gonna go with that. Regardless, could be you just married the wrong woman. Oh. Or she married the wrong guy. You know what? I'm gonna curse him out. Give him, give him some attitude. <sighs> oh. Wait, I should probably turn the subtitles on. Yeah, let me turn the subtitles on real quick. Uh-huh. All right, what we, got to, what we got going on now? Oh. Oh, they about to catch somebody. They about to book somebody. They got the chopper and everything. Uh, do I got to look at the rearview mirror again? Okay, I'm going to do that. I'm driving this man once. He, he was the worst one. He wouldn't stop going on about how he didn't do it. He oh. was an older fella. Big, soft eyes behind a pair of smart folk glasses. He just wailing back there. Says it wasn't him. Crying and snotting all over right where you're sitting. Uh-huh. Okay. All right. Then before long, he starts kicking the back of the seat like, like a fussy baby on an airplane. And I oh. tell him he's got to stop. That's government property, and I'll be forced to zap him otherwise. So he stops, and having exhausted all his options, he starts crying out for his mama. Mama! It's all a big mistake. It wasn't me. Nani? So he did do it. Maybe he was innocent. Man. Or nothing. So I'm gonna go did with triangle. Oh. They caught the fucker red-handed. Stabbing his wife, cutting her up as the boys came through the door. Oh. He sits in my car screaming bloody murder that it wasn't him. I think he actually believed it himself. Oh my, that's, that's mad morbid. It goes to show. People up and go mad when they believe their life is over. Uh, yeah. Just look at I most comic book villains. For you. This one's a little bit less depressing and a bit more hilarious, if I do say so. This Wait, in the... Oh, I think I let him know too late. Oh, no. Oh! Oh, my God. Yo, he sees moving around like a rag doll. Oh, my God. Oh, that might have affected the story in a crazy way that's gonna come back to bite me in the ass. Oh my! Yo, what is going on right now? Oh, how is he alive? He should not be alive right now. Thirsty. Uh oh. Fuck. My leg. Damn, that's a deep cut. Yeah, that it's over for that sheriff. All right, where we where we gotta look. All right, let me look out the um, peer through the glass. Wait, actually, no, I gotta look right here. Why the hell did he have his gun out? Oh. Hey. Hey, officer, are you all right? I mean, clearly I not. If he's, if he's laid out on the floor like that, then he's clearly not all right. Like, I'm convinced that was a rhetorical question. I mean, that's a question that starts with a different R word, but I, I really don't I really don't want to say it. But yeah. All right. Where else we got to look? Um, Let's look at the handcuffs. Damn it. Uh, Yeah, we got to kick the window to get out of here. Kick it again. Just Falcon kick it. Falcon kick. kick it. There you go. All right. I need to drag myself okay, now move window. toward the window using the left stick. Okay. All right, there we go. Watch a zombie jump out. Watch, it's gonna happen. Never mind. Damn, that was a pretty, that was a pretty deep fall. Oh my god. 
he, yo, he's really lucky to be alive. He's lucky that all he got was a wound on his leg. He's lucky he didn't end up like that police officer. Like, for real. Like, he's really lucky. Like, yo, count your lucky star that you surviving in a zombie apocalypse, bro. Wait, so we, do I gotta go to the officer's body? I think I do. Probably, probably gonna have to go to his body to um, unlock the... Wait, what? Why is it... Why are these controls so weird? But yeah, go go toward his body to um Officer. probably get the keys to unhandcuff him. Yo, I really wonder what this dude was arrested for, though. I really wonder. All right, let's take a good look at this officer. Yeah, yep, I knew it. Okay, let's get the keys so we can unhandcuff him. Oh, he's tight. All right, let's pick him up again. Yo, the music is getting intense. I don't know if y'all can hear that. So, I thought something was going to jump out right there. I'm not even going to hold y'all. All right, let's do that one more time. There you go. There you go. Officer. Wait, he's alive? Oh, my God. Oh my god, holy shit is right. Jesus Christ, I didn't expect that. Yo, here I was thinking the officer was dead. Get away from me. Uh oh, uh oh. Wait, the shotgun shell. Get the shotgun shell. Alright, where's the shotgun at? His shotgun gotta be around here somewhere. Right there, right there, right there. Pick the shotgun up. Pick the shotgun up, bro. Alright, load it, load it, load it. Come on, come on. Of course, oh my god, of course we need to defend yourself. That's when you wanna act like you wanna drop everything. That's when you get clumsy. But well, then again, you in a moment of distress, so... Wait, how do I... Oh, I thought I had to press R2 to shoot him. I've been playing too many first-person shooter games. Wow. Oh my god, his head is completely gone. It's like that episode of South Park where, um... Britney Spears... Or some celebrity shot herself in the face, and literally, it was she only had a jaw. Like, she was... Literally, it was from the jaw down. That's all she had left, but she was somehow alive still. I think it was Britney Spears. I think it was that episode. Help! Oh. Go get someone! There, there's been a shooting! Yeah, t yes. yeah, Omari Hardware. Just tell a little girl you don't know to get some help. What is that? What is... Bro, that scared the crap out of me. There's more of them. Bro, get up and run. I know your leg is hurting, but you gotta get up and run, bro. I know it's easier said than done, but come on. Alright, just go ahead and fall when there's zombies chasing after you. Just like every horror movie ever, bro. Oh, man. Oh, that one don't even got no arms. Yeah, he about... He's, he, it's over. GG's. You're about to get bodied. All right, come on. Any year now. Come on, bro. They walk in at a snail's pace. If you get caught by them, it's your fault. Okay, jump over the fence. Take your sweet time and jump over the fence. It's not like you, you being chased by the undead. Oh, what we got going on here? Oh my. Oh. All right, where do I gotta look now? Okay, where do, where am I supposed to go? Let's go. All right, let's go inside this house right here. Cause that that's that's a totally good idea. All right, sliding glass door. I wonder if anybody's home. Wait, can I go inside? Hello, anybody home? We need a little help. I don't think anybody's home. All right, we gotta we, let's see if we can find like another way into the house or something. Oh, wait, I was able to go in here. Oh, wow. Wait, can I? Oh, I can go in here. Don't shoot, okay? Yeah, like, people are gonna believe you. You break into some- You go into somebody's house that you don't know. And then, and then you just say, I'm not an intruder. Like, they're supposed to believe you. Let's look at this coloring book right here. I used to love coloring books when I was a kid. Oh, it's a, it's a unicorn. Alright. And what's this? A bowl of fruit. What, what, what type of fruits you got in? Oh, it's fake fruits. I never understood fake fruits. I've always thought they were weird, but... There's a pool of blood right there. That's... Oh, my God. Or oh, answering machine? Damn, I haven't seen an answering machine in mad long. Don't nobody use answering machines no more. All right, let's... 
Oh. Message one left at 5.43 p.m. Okay. Hey, Sandra. This is Diana. We're still in Savannah. Uh, Ed had a little incident with some crazy guy near the hotel, so we had to get him back to the ER and have it checked out. Anyway, he's not feeling well enough to drive back tonight, so we're staying an extra day. Thanks so much for looking after Clementine, and I promise we'll be back in time before your spring break. Wait, Clementine? I'm pretty sure that was that little girl, because I've heard of, I've heard about this game at Clementine and all that. Oh my God! Finally. I don't know if you tried to reach us. All, all Wait, hold on. Let's listen to these voice notes. They're not letting us leave. And Our voicemails, I mean. Anything about Atlanta. Please, please, just leave the city and take Clementine with you back to Murrieta. I've, I've got to get back to the hospital. Please let me know that you're safe. Oh. So something... They must have got hit with the zombies, too. The zombies must have, must have got them. Poor kid. All right, who just said that? Well, I mean, I'm pretty sure it was Clementine, but all right, let's look. Look in his drawer right here. There's a walkie-talkie in there. Hello. You need to be quiet. Oh, what? I'm guessing that's Clementine. All right, let's just let's just reassure her to let her know that we're not bad. Okay, um, where are your parents? What's your name? Um, what's your name? That I'm telling you. I'm yeah, yep, I knew that was Clementine. Hi, Clementine. I'm Lee. Oh. Okay, let's ask her. How old is she? Damn, poor How kid. Kid you? lost her parents. I'm, uh, 37. Okay. Well, let's ask her where her parents are, just where in case she knows parents? anything. They took a trip and left me with Sandra. They're in Savannah, I think. Where the boats are? Um, let's ask her if she's I'm safe, just to make sure she's I'm good. Outside of my tree house. They can't get in. That's smart. See? Can you see me? I can see you through the window. Yeah, yep, we see you. We see you, kiddo. Oh. Oh my god! Oh wait, 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 wait. Keep tapping X, keep tapping X, keep tapping X. There we go, square. Okay, there we go. Of course this idiot would fall and hit his head, bro. Wait, what? Okay, kick in the face, kick in the dome. Oh! Wait, wait, did I... Oh, Clementine with the hammer! Good looking, Clem. Okay, give me the hammer. Give me the hammer. Give me that. Wait, oh, gotta tap X, tap X, tap X. There we go. Circle. There we go. Okay, wait, hold up. Kick her. Yo, you gotta have the, the reaction time. Okay, get the hammer. Get the hammer. Oh my gosh, bash your head in like that. Like the like Esther did to that one nun in uh, the movie Orphan. That movie is fire, by the way. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. Oh my God. Man. That's going to leave a mark. Hi there. Did you kill it? Uh, let's just be honest with her. It's okay. I think she was a monster. Yeah, you don't say. I think so too. You've been. Oh, Clementine will remember that. Oh, yeah, oh boy. To come home now. I think that might be a little while. You know. Oh. Look, I don't know what happened, but I'll look after you until then. Oh, that's nice of him. This reminds me of The Last of Us. Now. Uh, look for help before it gets dark. Get out of here once the sun goes down. Um, I, good question. I really don't know. Okay, let's look at this realistically. 
One minute, 37 seconds later. Let's go, let's go square. Find help before it gets dark. Yeah. You chose the safety of daylight. Yeah, exactly. It's best to be out during the day, you know? Let's go. Stay close to me. Yo, this is really giving me the Last of Us vibes. Like, for real. Alright, so let's... Alright, where do we have to go next? Alright, we gotta follow Clementine with our bad leg. Yo, no lie. Yo, Clementine in that hat reminds you of Emporio from JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Stone Ocean. I still gotta finish the anime. I got, I'm like halfway through it. Oh, oh. man. Who that? I'm never getting home to mama at this rate. Okay. It sucks. Oh, it's hot dish night. All right, they look like they could use some help, and they might be able to help us in return. So, let's go through the gate. What's the matter? Should I stay? What? I don't want to sleep in the treehouse tonight, but I don't know if I should leave. What if my parents come home? Yo, poor kid. Yo, I don't know. They won't. Let's go. You know what? Let's let's go with X. I won't leave you alone. Just to make her feel safe, you know? She's Tell just a kid. Safe that's close, okay? And this sag is like, her parents are dead. And she doesn't even know it. She thinks they're still going to come home, which is really, really sad, bro. Like, no kid should ever have to go through something like this. Don't eat us. We're not going to hurt you. Oh. But for a second, you and the little one were both gonna give us the chomp. Do we look like zombies? We're looking for help. What's going on? What are you doing? Uh. We need help. Yeah, let's let them know we need help. Because you should be. Those things are all over the damn place. I haven't seen anything as gnarly as this neighborhood since downtown Atlanta, 15 miles back. I'm Sean. Sean Green. Okay, so that's Sean. This is Clementine. I'm Chet. And Chet. We shouldn't be out in the open like this. How about oh. you help us clear the way, and we'll take you and your daughter out of here and down to my family's farm. It should be safer there. I'm not a dad. I'm... Just some guy, a neighbor, her babysitter. You know what? Her babysitter. Her, babysitter. her parents are out of town. Sean thinks you're the babysitter now. Um, Let's okay. Get going. Staying put for too long is a mistake. Yeah, no lies told there. We gotta, we gotta skedaddle and get on out of here. Monsters coming. Go. Oh yeah, we gotta get out of here. We gotta put the pedal to the metal and skedaddle. Okay, what do I, okay, I gotta push this car. Okay, push, push, push. Okay, there we go, there we go. There we go, Omari Hardwick. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Alright, I feel like there's a time limit because the zombies are gonna yo, the zombies are gonna come for us if I don't do this in time, I feel like. Okay, come on, let's get on out of here. Okay, good. We made it out of there just in time. Those babysitters go. I'd say your parents owe you a tip. But yo, real talk, imagine surviving in a zombie apocalypse, bro. I don't think I'd be able to. I honestly would not be able to survive a zombie apocalypse. Like, real talk. I wonder how long these episodes are, though. But like, for real, when it comes to zombie apocalypses, or whatever the plural is for apocalypse, bro, give me like... I don't need firearms, bro, because like, I feel like guns and stuff would be rare to find. Like, guns and ammo would be rare to find. Like, I'd use my environment as a weapon. Like, like Frank West in Dead Rising. Like, you like use all the tools in my environment to my disposal, you feel me? So, yeah. Like, whatever I, whatever I could use as a weapon, I'll use it. I'll use, I'll use a piece of bread as a weapon if I have to, you know? Hey, Sean, I mean, I'd rather eat it, but yeah. My mama's gonna be in a snit. Oh. No sweat, man. I'll catch you tomorrow night. It was nice to meet you both. Oh. Thank God you're okay. Okay. I was worried it'd be bad here, too. Been quiet as usual the past couple of days. Old Brecken down the way thinks his mare's gone lame, but that ain't nothing new. I wouldn't have made it back without Chet. Well, I'm glad you took him with you then. Uh-huh. You've brought a couple guests. We just need some help. We need a place to stay. Your boy is a lifesaver. Well, life oh, yeah, that is true. Because, I mean, he did he did so save us. Just you and your daughter, then. Oh, not his daughter. 
He's the babysitter. Honey. Uh huh. You know this man? Yes. Okay then. Uh huh. Well, looks like you hurt your leg pretty bad there. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's not doing so good. I can help you out. Sean, run on in and check on your sister. You take a seat up on the porch and I'll go see what I have. Okay, that's that's nice of him to take to take us in to help us out. That's really nice of them, you know. Let's have a look. Yeah, this is swollen to hell. Yeah, you don't say. Could be worse. It's not too bad. It hurts like hell. I'm gonna say it hurts like hell because the dude was literally limping the whole time. What did you say your name was? Wait, he did it. Wait, he didn't say his name. So I didn't. He didn't well, technically say his name. The time. Herschel will remember that. It's, it's Lee. Lee. Nice to meet you, Lee. I'm Herschel Green. Uh huh. How'd this happen? I don't remember. Jump your fence. Car accident. Car accident. Because he's te he, that technically did happen in a car accident. Before the car accident. Uh, should we tell him? Um, home. Because he don't need to know all that. There's home. Grow up and make it. Damn, he asking mad questions. One of those things you've been hearing about on the road. Who are you with, the girl? Nobody. Uh huh. That's so, yeah, it is. Oh, you said we. That's all. House is full up with mine. We got Oh, I even I didn't even realize that he took note of that. The inconsistencies in the story I just told him. There, we're done here. I didn't catch your name, darling. Clementine. Can't imagine what you've been through, Clementine. I'm looking after her until we uh, find her parents. Hey, Dad. So I'm thinking, first thing tomorrow, we gotta reinforce the fence around the farm. That doesn't seem necessary. I don't know what you saw on TV or heard on the radio, but there's some serious shit hitting the fan. I don't think. Yeah, you don't say. That. Your son is right. I wouldn't worry too much. No, your, your son, son is right. definitely right because we don't know what's going on. Stuff like that doesn't happen around here, Sean. Dad, I'm serious. All right, you say that until a zombie Come eats your on. ass alive. You out there, man. The girl with the gut spell. Dead people walking. The dead cop. Dead people walking. Like a couple of dead people. Well, do what you think you should. We got plenty of chores as it is. Lee and those folks in the barn can help out in the morning. We gotta do it, really. Bro, his old dude seems like he does not care at all. It's like, bro, well, you, you know here. about what's going on. You should probably do something about it. You know what I'm saying? If your leg gets hot or the swelling doesn't go down, you're probably dealing with an infection. What do we do then? We'll probably just have to shoot you. Uh-oh. Yo, I really hope Lee doesn't turn into a zombie. Okay, that'd be preferable. There's blankets and such in the barn. We'll be seeing you bright and early. Uh huh. Come tomorrow. Which way you think you're headed? Towards making, I suppose. Okay. He seems nice. He asked mad questions, but yeah, he seems pretty cool. Yo, it really feels like I'm playing like until dawn right now. You know. Hopefully, I get the good ending instead of the. It smells like. Oh. Manure, because you know we don't curse around children. Like when a horse plops. Just yeah, like, like when a horse plops. I missed my mom and dad. Damn, poor. Yo, I can't even imagine the pain she's going through How right far now, bro. Is Savannah? Pretty far. Oh, okay. Damn, I feel so bad for Clementine. Oh, is it, is it going to show why Lee was arrested? Oh. I love you, baby. That was pro I feel like that was his wife. It had to have been his wife or something. Hey, get up. Oh. I'm itchy. Well, you slept in a barn, little lady. Lucky you don't have spiders in your hair. But I bet your daddy scared them all away, huh? I'm, uh, not her dad. Name's Lee. I'm Kenny. Dad, uh -huh. no offense! There's a tractor and everything! 
We better get going, or we won't hear the end of it. That's my boy, Ken Jr. We call him Duck, though. Why would you call your kid Duck? Where do, where do parents name their kid Duck? Exactly. My 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 question exactly. We're on our way back before things up and went bananas. Oh. The word is you were on your way to Macon. A yeah. family's from there. Well, Macon's on the way, and personally, I'd appreciate the company of a guy who can knock a couple of heads together if he has to. Uh huh. No thanks. I'll ask the girl. Maybe. Let's see how things turn out. Maybe. Um. Let's yeah. Let's hit them with the maybe because, because we don't know this guy. <laughs> And like we we don't know we don't know what could possibly artist. happen so I mean, yeah duck, this is can't make no promises. And, uh, what's the girl's name? Clementine. Clementine. That is a very pretty name. Thanks. Well, we should get to work. We've all seen what those things can do out there. So the faster we get this fence up, the better. I want to build a fence. Yeah. Well, I need a good foreman. You can sit on the tractor and yell Wait. at me whenever I take a water Stop. break. Lowered my chair by accident. Hold on. Cool. Duck and I will hop to. I can keep an eye on your little girl here on the porch. We can visit. Okay, let's see what we got popping off right here. You know what? Let's talk to um this lady. What's her name? I don't even know this lady's name. Cut. What the fuck is a Katja? You have such pretty hair. It gets lots of tangles. You should have checked in with everyone you met so far. Alright, let's see. I definitely care about how Clementine is doing. You having a nice time with Katya Clementine? Yeah. Okay, that's good. That's good that she's having a nice time. Um, okay, let's go let's go into this tractor over here. Let's let's talk to Duck. How you doing, Duck? Good. I'm gonna drive the tractor. I'm the foreman. Lift with your back, Sean. Isn't it lift with your legs and not your back? Eh, hey, whatever. What do I know? Let's look at the tractor. Sure don't. I can give you a hell of a critique of the U.S. Farm Bill, though. I'm good. <laughs> All right, let's talk to um Sean to see how you're doing. Hey, Lee. Uh, need a hand? Need a hand? That'd be great. If you could cut those two bites to length, that sure speed things up. Okay, I think we could do that. This seems mad boring. I'm not even gonna lie. It is. No, he doesn't. I saw a guy in Atlanta kill a kid. A boy. Just shot him right in the face. Oh my god. Uh, was the boy one of the walkers? I'm, I'm curious. I don't even know. He was either attacking the guy or asking for help. He didn't even hesitate. He just turned, put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's eyes, and pulled the trigger. You okay, it seems like Sean has some sense. It's not like in the movies. They don't fall like you think. Do you have to do it? Do what? Kill. Have you had to off one yet? Oh. Uh... Sometimes it's kill or be killed. That bash the poor girl's brains in. I had to, had to shoot one. Well, you had to. Yeah, you had to shoot one and bash another one's head in. If it were far away. I'm just glad we're getting. Sean won't spread. forget that. Dad just wants to keep the family safe and thinks inviting people in is a bigger threat than whatever's out there. Uh. How's your family? I'm not too close to my family. I don't know where my ex-wife is. My parents are making uh triangle. Not too close with my family. Oh. Well, they weren't in Atlanta, right? So that's good. Okay. That's probably all I need cut for now. Thanks. Hmm. Alright, so what can we do now? Let's look at these fences. Do you uh think this thing will keep them out? Not yet. I'm planning on coming back through on a fortification pass, if you will. We'll lock this place up good. Okay, where to next? Where to next? Hey, Lee. Still need a hand? Uh, let's ask, ask me if he need needs a hand. Now. Thanks. Okay. How are these things to drive? Pain in the ass, mostly. Big, heavy as hell, and slower than, uh... You know what? I think we should go check back on Clementine and, um, Katja. Uh, how's your son doing? What's your plan? Oh, let's ask him about his son. Good, I think. 
Kachi's got a sister up in Memphis. We were coming back from visiting her. We were in a gas station and some guy grabbed my boy. I thought he was kidnapping him. I was on the fucker in about two seconds and... Christ. Just lucky I was there. We saw a lot of bodies before we stumbled upon Herschel's. But we're a tough family, Lee. Ain't nothing gonna phase us. Damn. You showed an interest in his family. Let's let's ask him his plan. his plan. Get back on down to Lauderdale and let this mess get sorted out. Government will start handing out shots and the National Guard will do its thing. On the odd chance things got too bad, we could hop on my boat, I guess. You've got a boat. I'm a commercial fisherman, catching mackerel, dolphin, whatever's biting and paying. Katya wouldn't be wild about it, but the boat's not that bad. Oh, uh, okay. We learned about his boat. Let's you ask him help. if he needs any help. No, I think I got it. Do you need any help? What do you mean? I mean in taking care of that little girl. You know what you're doing? You got kids of your own? I have no idea. Uh, let's just tell him no kids. No, no kids. Would have liked one then. And of course, my, oh my God, I don't know why my capture cards stay doing this. I really don't know why. Okay, I'm sorry about that, y'all. Let's let's continue this. See you. Wait, let me ask him about his truck. It's not the most reliable pickup in the world, but it gets the job done. You learn Clementine is a first grader. All right, let's go talk to um Herschel over here. See what's up with him. should know that if you weren't leaving with Kenny today, I wouldn't stand for your lack of honesty last night. Uh-oh. I'm not sure I follow. Oh? I ain't dumb. I caught you in that lie last night about who you were with in that car. Uh-oh. Uh I don't even want to know. How'd you get out of Atlanta? I was on my way out anyway. I got a ride. Um, I was on my way out anyway. Oh. The timing of all this just happened to be right. He doesn't believe anything. Good time for the supposed apocalypse. He doesn't believe us. A nice plot of land. <laughs> Had you told me 20 years ago I'd still be doing this, I would have told you that you were full of crap. Never was a plan having a place like this. It was in the family, and I guess so was I. Family's important. It's all that matters. You agree with that? Was brought up to? Yes. Where's your family now? Parents? Wife, girlfriend? No family, no wife anymore. No, no wife anymore. Uh, not anymore. Uh, I think she's up in Virginia, maybe. Sorry to hear it. But now you've got this little girl to take care of. Clementine, is it? You just stumbled up on her? What are you getting at? I was being attacked and she came to my rescue. Uh, let's ask him what he's getting at. He's implying something. Hmm. Can I give you a piece of advice? Uh-huh. Oh, uh, what is it? What is it? I don't know who you are or what you did, but you better become a better liar and fast. Let's say things don't get better back in the cities, or they get worse before they do. You're going to have to depend on the honesty of strangers if you're going to make it. And if those same people get to questioning yours, you're going to be in trouble. So whoever you are and whatever you did, Keep it to your damn self. Oh my oh, god, this guy's a savage. Attitudes, friend. Oh my No! I'll get my gun. What's going on? Wait, hold up. No 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 no. I gotta sit up for this one. Bro, why my guy Sean, bro? Oh, they can't, they trying to take duck! Um, um, what to do, what to do, what to do? Um, uh, nah, I gotta rescue Duck first. I'd feel so bad if I, if I let Duck die. Um, uh, get the zombie off of him. Okay, hit him again. Okay, go risk, go, um, help him, help him. Oh my god, yo, Sean dies, I'm gonna be tight. 
Wait, how did his leg get pinned down on the track? Did, it, did Duck do that? Oh, no. Oh, no. No, come on, bro. Don't. Oh, my God. Damn, bro. I wonder if I saved Sean, would Duck have still even died? Did I make the wrong decision? Get the fuck out of here! Yo, you had like his hour full Sean Dud. Sorry. Your son is alive. You don't get to be sorry. Oh. You, you didn't even try to help. I thought I could help them both. I I, thought I, could help them I really thought I could have helped them both, though. That's the crazy part. And now? Damn, I get why he's pissed off. His son is Let's dead. Go. Like, I really can't blame him for go being upset. And never come back. Damn, bro. Actually, I started to like Sean, too. Damn. Like I said, I can't... I can't blame Herschel for being tight. Like, his son... Got bodied got right in front of him. If you want it. But yo, like I couldn't, I couldn't just watch a kid die, bro. I couldn't let a kid die. I mean, honestly, like I said, I don't know if, if Duck still would have died if I had um, saved Sean instead. But uh, this is my first time playing the game, so that in my defense, you know. This is as far as we're going. Okay. Far enough. Okay, so I'm assuming we're in Macon now. Is this an abandoned, desolate town? Look! Hey there. You friendly? Trucks run out of gas. Uh, clearly not. Uh oh, this is not good. Y'all might want to get out of there. Oh, th never mind the trap. No, don't, don't, don't kill it. I'm about to say, please don't kill a kid, bro. Oh, who's that? Oh, yo, th yo, they couldn't have come at a better time, bro. They really could not have come at a better time. Like, they really saved our skins right there, bro. We can't take risks like this. And we can't just let people die, either. When I say that door stays shut no matter what, I fucking mean it. Oh. We don't know who these people are. They could be dangerous. Worse, they could have let them right to us. Chill out, lady. We have man? kids. They would have died out there. Yeah, we have kids. Y'all need to calm down. I see one little girl. What is it? I I have to pee. I'd go out there again in a um, second. Um I bet you would. Here uh just tell her to wait, because this is a This <laughs> like, this is a bad time, bro. This is a bad time. She gotta wait. Maybe you should go join him then. You'll have something in common. God damn it, Lily. Oh. You have to control these people. Carly and Glenn just ran out there. I um, don't give a fly up. Um, she's an asshole. She's an asshole, that's for sure. That's what it takes. Well, you don't have to be a <laughs> bitch about it. Oh, I like the way you think, Lee. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. Wait, not nah, wait, he wasn't bitten. Nah, he wasn't bitten. He got that saved, didn't he? We have to end this now. Over my dead body. We'll dig one hole. No, yo, if I yo, they better not kill that kid. No fight. He's fine. Don't you fucking people get it? We've already seen this happen. We let someone with a bite stay in, and we all end up bitten. Listen, I can't blame him for being skeptical, but still, the kid did not get bitten. Hey, what do we do about this guy? Tell him to chill the hell out. That's what we do. It's just a boy. It's Lily, I'll um, we gotta try and reason with them at least. You need to calm down. Like I said, I don't blame him for being skeptical. You didn't side with Kenny. Everyone chill the fuck out. Nobody is 
doing anything. Shut up, Lily. And oh. you shut the fuck up. They will find Yo, this guy is an asshole. Here, and none of this will fucking matter. But right now, we're about to be trapped in here with one of those things. What the hell are you talking about? He's bitten. That's how you turn. He's not bitten. Please stop this. It's upsetting him. Oh, I'm upsetting him. Upsetting oh, you hold. If it was your girl, alive. sit down at else. It. Um, it's a big deal. It's his son. You're not fucking acting. Oh my god. It. It's Larry, right? Man, this is his son. Look around, dumbass. Oh. I got a daughter in here. You got a daughter in here. Get your head out of your ass, boy. We've all got people in here. We can figure this out without killing anybody. There's another way. Exactly. With a shovel. No, not that. Kill him, cat. Just worry about duck. Lee. Yeah. There's someone in there. It's just locked. Keys behind the counter. Uh oh. No, she she might. Hey, she might she might be telling the truth. I'm just looking out for my daughter. No, you're just like I said, I can't I can't blame her for being skeptical. She's covered in muck. She'll find the bite. Watch. She won't. And if oh. she does, the first thing he'll do is sink his teeth into his mom's face. Yo, here's then, the hold up. She's dead. He'll probably pounce on your Oh my god. Girl. Um I don't know I don't know what to pick. And then he'll be um, free. Um he's just a boy. I think we can handle it. A little boy? He'll be an uncontrollable man-eater. It's not gonna happen. It is. And we're tossing him out now. No. Um, you're right. Let him. I'm sorry, Kenny. Let him. No. Hit him, Kenny. This guy out. Happily. Jesus. <laughs> oh, Clementine Sally. She's in death. Oh, my God. Jesus. Come on, go rescue her. Go save her. Of course, his leg gotta gotta give him trouble at the worst time. Okay, what do, what do I gotta? Okay, rescue Clementine, rescue her, rescue her. No, 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 no. Okay, press the X, 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 X. Come on, 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 come on. No, 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 no. Oh, I thought I thought Lee was gonna get bitten. I'm not even gonna lie. You okay? That's great, thanks. Yikes. Uh, guys. Clem will remember you protected her. Oh no. Oh no, GG's. Karma, I'm, I'm just saying, Karma. Like I said, I understand why he's skeptical. I told him to calm down. Was he, was he the one bitten? What's, What's wrong, wrong with him? With Did he have a heart attack? Was he it's bitten or what? Oh. Pills. Um, nitroglycerin pills? Yes, we're out. Oh. We've been trying to get into the pharmacy since we got here. Please try to get in there, behind the counter where the pills are. Okay, nitroglycerin pills. Um, we'll do it somehow. We'll get in there somehow. Thank you so much. We need nitroglycerin pills. Please get in there. I'll keep an eye on my dad. Okay. Everyone else should get comfy and look for anything useful. We could be in here a while. All right. I think this drugstore isn't a permanent solution. Uh huh. Right. This ain't exactly Fort Knox. What do you suggest? We need as much gas as possible so we can all get out of downtown Macon fast. Agree. I like the way he thinks. I'll head out and get gas. There's a motel not too far from here, out towards the end of Peachtree. I'll work my way towards it and then loop back, siphoning what I can. You know your way around town? That'd be great. You're insane. Yeah, he really is insane. Well, it's got to get done. Plus, I'm quick and I know Macon. Okay. Oh, born and raised. If you're going to do that, here's a walkie talkie if you get in a tight spot. Hopefully, you won't need it. Cool. Clementine's got the other one. Check in with her and get back here as soon as you can. You. All right. What's your name? It's Lily. My dad's Larry. Keep a good eye on him. These boys will work on getting you your medicine. That's right. And you, you keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. Doug, Who's that? You got it. Oh, and Doug. Carly. Carly. Okay, Carly. I like her. We'll shift in with Doug when he needs it. For now, get some rest. You're a good shot, and I'd like to keep it that way. You got it, boss. 
Okay. Get him those pills. Okay, we gotta get him those pills so we don't start wilding again. But I wonder if this game auto saves. If it does, like in case it does, I'm gonna call it a night, end the video right here. Part one of the Walking Dead Telltale series. So yeah, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on post notifications. Follow my socials in the description as well. And I just want to say thank y'all so so much for the continued support. And yeah. I'm going to be off this. Y'all take care. Have a good one. And I'm going to see y'all in the next video.